Okay, so I think everyone agrees that Squarespace 7.1 is like a million times better than 7.0. But one thing that's really been bothering us in Nerdville is that when you, um, in 7.0, you could make a page that would be an image gallery. And then on all the other pages in your website, you could just insert gallery and use an existing gallery and pull all those images in. And it was so much easier. In 7.1, you have to go in and manually create a gallery every single time, which means that if I've created a gallery on a page, on another page, and now I want to use those same images, yes, they're in my library, but I was having to upload them one at a time. So I don't have the time to do that. So normally I would just re-upload all of those images all over again. So now I've got basically double or triple copies of all of those images on a website. So now they just added this um, kind of multi-item um, select, which I am so excited about. So for instance, on this website that I'm working on right now, I was originally just going with a section with the gallery block added to it. Well, we want to use masonry on here. So instead, now I'm going to, and I've already uploaded all of these images, I'm just going to add a new section and I'm going to make sure that it's an image section so that I can choose the masonry gallery. And masonry, masonry galleries are great for photographers um, and any, anyone else that has a portfolio that they're um, kind of showing off because it allows those images to live in their natural um, format, basically. So we don't have to worry about resizing, uh, you know, having them each cropped. If you have a lot of vertical and horizontal images, they all just kind of tuck in really nice and neatly together. So I've updated and kind of changed the format so that it's ready to go. And now I'm just going to edit this gallery and get rid of the demo pictures that come standard. Now, instead of having to mass upload all of those images all over again, I can now go to the add sign, say that I want to search my own images, and then I can scroll down to the section where this is for couples. So I'll scroll through all of her library until I find where all of those couples were together. And I've got a lot in here that I need to, to clean up. So you'll have to um, look past that for right now. But let's find all of our couples pictures, which are down kind of towards the bottom. Should have done the headshots. Okay, so here are my couple's pictures. So if I click to select one of them, you can just manually go through and select them all if you want to. Or what it basically does is says that if you have, like I've got this whole section, if I just hit, hold down the shift key after I've selected one, hold down the shift key, scroll until I find my last couple's picture, which is right here, and click it, it's going to take all of the pictures in between them. It's going to select all of them. So you can see it's selected 13. And I just say add, and it's going to bulk add them all from my library right then and there, um, which is awesome. If you have them, unfortunately, it's a little bit tricky. If you have them like kind of randomly throughout the site, you will, you can do it bulk. But let's say, for instance, I click the shift and then I go and find the other images that I want. It's going to collect any of the ones in between. So that's a little bit of a pain, but I am just so excited. I hope this helps um, you guys, anyone out there, because uh, it definitely is a huge time saver for me.